Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss section 3.4, which is concavity um, and the second derivative test. So theorem, uh, the second derivative test says that if f double prime of x is greater than zero for all x in AB, then the graph is concave upward on AB. If f prime, double prime of x is less than zero for all x in the interval, then the graph is concave downward. Concave upward is like a regular parabola. Concave downward is like a downward parabola. Um, theorem 4.8, and the theorem numbers are off, but that's because um, the book selection change uh, threw the numbers off. But really the number isn't important, it's the title of the theorem that you need to pay attention to. So it maybe have a different number in the textbook, but it's still the points of inflection theorem. So to find the points of inflection, find the critical points of f double prime. Normally we've always been doing the critical points from f prime. So now we're going to be setting the second derivative equal to zero or finding where the second derivative is undefined. But still, in order for it to be a critical point, it has to be a, in the domain of the original function. So you do still need to consider the domain of f. So it says the strategy to finding intervals of concavity and points of inflection is one, determine the domain of f to create a real number line. Find f double prime second. Third, find critical numbers for f double prime and use them to break up the domain into subintervals on the real number line, the one you created from part one. Then number four, test an x value in each subinterval theorem for um, the second derivative test okay that'll tell you which intervals are concave up and which intervals are concave down then summarize the results and write concavities in interval notation and determine any points of inflection okay so points of inflection by definition are where the concavity changes so if the concavity is upward on one side of a critical number and still upward on the second side of a critical number, there's no point of inflection. Points of inflection are only when the concavity changes. So I just want to make that note here before we get into the examples. Um, points of inflection occur when the concavity changes at a critical number. 